Hello! Are you looking to build a deployment pipeline for your React project using Amazon services? Then this video is for you. In this video, we will create a React project, push in GitHub, create a GitHub action that will build and deploy a Docker container of your project into Amazon services. Let's get started. Here are the prerequisites that we will need for this exercise. You must have a Node.js installed on your local machine, a GitHub account, and an AWS account. Step 1. Create a React project. Make sure that you have Node.js installed on your local machine and you have access to NPM. Open your terminal and type NPM version. I'm using version 6.14.8. To create a new React project, type the following command in your terminal. npx create react app, react app. React app is the name of the application. Hit enter and wait for it to create the project. Open your favorite text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Open the folder where we created the project. Add the following Docker file in the root directory of the project. Click Save. Step 2. Push the project to GitHub. Log in or create a new account in GitHub. Create a new repository named React App. Hit Create Repository. Follow the procedure on how to link the remote repository to our local project. In Visual Studio Code, open a terminal. Type git init and add all the files. Let's commit the changes. Add a master branch. Add the remote repository and push the project into the remote repository. Enter your SSH password, wait a bit, and check our GitHub repository. Here we can see our newly pushed project. Step 3 Create an Amazon ECR. Log in to your AWS account. Click the services menu and search ECR. In the drop down, select Elastic Container Registry. In the Amazon ECR page, click Get Started. Enter the repository name, React App. Click Create Repository. Copy the repository URI. We will use this when we create an ECS task definition. Step 4. Create Amazon ECS. Log in to your AWS account. Click the Services menu and search ECS. In the drop down, select Elastic Container Service. On the left side, click Amazon ECS, Task. Definitions. Click Create New Task Definition. Select EC2 and click Next. Set the following values. In the Task Definition name, enter Deploy Container, no space. Set Task Memory to 1 to 8 MB. Set Task CPU Unit to 1 VCPU. Click the Add Container button. In the container name, enter React App Container without any space. In the image, enter the ECR URI that we have created earlier. Under Fault Mappings, set Host Fault to 80 and Container Fault to 80 as well. Click Add. 
click create in the left side click amazon ecs clusters click create cluster select ec2 linux plus networking click next step and set the following fields set cluster name to react cluster set ec2 instance type to t2 micro this one is really important the number of instance to one under the networking section select a vpc if you already have one otherwise let it create for you select the subnets if you already have them select a security group that allows public access or in our case expose fort 80 to the world click create click view cluster under the services tab click create and set the following fields set the launch type to ec2 and set task definition to deployment container service name to react service number of task one and percent zero and 100 click next step click next step as we will not use a load balancer create the service now let's view our newly created service step number five create aws access key log in to your aws account click services and search for iam on the left side click users click add user enter a name react app and select programmatic access click next permissions click attach existing policies directly and select administrator access click next click next and click create a user make sure to download the csv file this is the credentials of the user that we will use later in github let's check it out we have the username password access key and secret access step 6 adding and configuring github action log in to your github account and open the project that we have created earlier click the settings tab click the secrets menu and let's add these two new secret aws access key id which is the value that we have downloaded earlier from amazon enter the value add secret and the sec the second one is the aws secret access key again the value is in the csv file that we have downloaded earlier click add secret and now we have the aws access key and secret access key it's now time to create a github action open your project in github click the actions tab search for deploy to amazon ecs and click set up this workflow follow the instructions on the top of the script replace the ecr repository in the workflow with your repository's name remember we use react apt and replace the value of the aws region in the workflow below with your repository's region going back to aws in the top right corner we can see the region so i i'm in us east 2 let's check that us east 2 and the repository name is react app item number two create ecs task definition again we need to go back to our aws account and go to ecs 
open the cluster that we have created or click the task definitions. Select deploy deployment container and copy the JSON format. Now we need to go back to our project and add a new file task definition.json. Copy the JSON content and save task definition.json. And now we need to update the values of both service and cluster. The name of our service so we have React Cluster, our service is React Service. And we're done because we already done the fourth step. So let's hit save or start commit. Create a ws.yml file, commit new file. And GitHub will automatically create the file under the folder React App that github workflows going back to our project we can execute git pool so that we can get the aws file and we can commit the task definition file push And let's check. So we have the task definition file. Now our project is complete. Step 8. Commit, build, and deploy. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open the aws.yml file under that GitHub workflows. And here we have miss this step replace the value of the container name in the workflow below with the name of the container in the container definition section in the task definition this is the task definition and this is the container definitions section name is react app container so let's copy this value and paste it here the container name also we need to change the on property to push branches and master it means that this github action will be triggered every time we commit in the master branch and finally let's change app.js and let's add some line here maybe welcome to Amazon ECS. Let's commit our changes and push. Let's open our GitHub project and under actions, we should see a new build. This is our commit message, update configuration, configuration files. Under it, we have the deploy action. Here, we can see that it was able to successfully log in to our Amazon account. It's now building, tagging, and pushing the Docker image to Amazon ECR. It takes some time, so be patient. After it pushed the Docker image to Amazon ECR, it will run the task definition and deploy our container to the ec2 instance it's now doing its final checks and once it's done let's go back to amazon ecs and go inside our cluster click the ecs instances tab click the container instance and this is the public dns where our app is accessible so let's try going here open it to your browser and this is our react application if you will remember 
we have added this h2 line welcome to amazon ecs and it was successfully updated and deployed to our amazon ec2 instance using ecr and ecs and that concludes this video i hope you learned something from it and that you will incorporate it into your workflow don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon as I often upload programming related videos which might be helpful to you. You can also join our Discord channel and participate in the discussion. See you there!